welcome, it's Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm going to do today a garbage bag, a garbage bag dip. I'm going to use a garbage bag to actually dip my canvas on, so hence the garbage bag. I've got um, some colours pre-made, I'm going to use the global with my pouring media. I am going to um, set that plastic bag up so it's kind of, I'm doing this along 60 by 40. Oh, let's see if I can, might need to dismantle my garbage bag a bit. Let's see if I can fit it all on here. I don't want every bit of the, maybe I need to go that way. That might be the go. So if I spread it out this way, I'm just hoping it gives me some nice texture in my paint. So I probably, well, that will do. And I'm going to stick the garbage bag. I always do this with gloves on and then my masking tape gets stuck on my gloves. So I'm just going to stick my garbage bag down a bit so it holds it flat so when I come to pull my canvas up it doesn't like pull the whole of the um, garbage bag up as well so I just want to do a little bit of a line at the back to know where I want to put my canvas down so I'm not as I said I'm not doing the whole canvas in the technique in the double double dip deep dipping I want to do oh okay let's put that there put that there I'll put that there but I want to make sure I keep well within those lines because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the edge of my canvas first so I have a uh, create like a border and I'm going to just do it do it do it with my um, my global paint oh getting all the bits and bobs so I'm literally going to just actually I'll use what's in the the lid I'm just going to use my um, sponge brush and I'm going to paint like a border pre-paint a nice dark border I was going to do a gold border do something different but I think I might save that for another day not for any reason but I just thought I'd do this blue it's nice and dark so it hopefully make the other colours pop and probably when I do a dark uh, border or a gold border should I say I would then use really light colour and probably metallics to make the colours pop of the gold. So just try and think about it I suppose before you kick off. So it's just almost doing like a frame. It's not got to be perfect because I'll be um, dipping some colours in there. used up the colour in my lid. I mean if you wanted to let it dry and do a second coat so it's really nice and you know finished then so do so that's absolutely fine. But that's covered that really nicely so I'm going to put that aside. Rightio so I'm going to put the canvas aside and I'll need to now start to load my colours in this bit. I don't really want to do too much towards the edges either. Like I said, I want a nice, I want a nice kind of crunched up effect in this. So I'll start off with, it's like a pale dusty pink that I had left over. So rightio. Um, keeping, keeping. Ooh, that 
that's gone a bit AWOL. Now I'll go with my Berry Delicious, which is a custom colour. I always seem to get really nice results when I do the chevrons in it. So just gives it kind of a different effect in there. But I'm hoping this scrunched up effect in my canvas will um, transport back onto the actual canvas like giving a, a textured effect. I'm going to give a bit of white in the wiggles here. I'm going to. Ooh. I think this blue will, uh, on the border, will make it pop because now I'm going to add some of the turquoise in here. So all of this is made with the same as I would normally make my pouring medium and the info is in the drop down box underneath the video. Radio. I just love this turquoise. Look at it. It's beautiful. Can't do the wiggles. Like a bit of Jackson Pollock going on in there. Um, now I'll go to my ultraviolet. Let's make a little lip in these plastic cups, which is awesome that you can do that. Just take your time, enjoy the process. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm really going to pop your socks off here and I'm going to add some um, fluoro orange. So, hoping this goes really well. Do it around the edges. Firstly. It should really make it pop. So I'm hoping that I can kind of make an underwater scene out of this, even if I finish up, if it up afterwards with some embellishments. Like, what we'll just see. I'll try and show you one that I've been working on. If I've got it about here. Oh, got to be careful. It's probably better to do this with your. Um, paints made up in a um, what you call it in a bottle radio and one last color which is kind of a navy here so I'm just gonna squiggle that around so this really is a good project to do with the children with your girlfriend having a coffee with your friends, you can do this together. It's a really nice bonding time. Even your grandparents, get your grandparents involved in it. You will be surprised how much they love to do it. Do not have to be an artist or anything. As you see, you just <laughs> do whatever your heart desires. Oh, just you can see some blue left over on the rear of that canvas. I mean, some white showing through. So I'll just skip over my canvas very quickly. Hey puppy dogs, are you waiting for your dinner? Dinner, dinner, chicken dinner. Wait a little while and it will be here. Oh, let's see where I'm gonna oh, get this now. I might need um, so might need a bit more paint on this side, I think. But you know what? I'll just go with it. And I will see what we get. And if there's any paint missing, I can always um, use my handy balloon tool to create some lovely 
or some effects. So just press the back of your canvas nice, just evenly, I guess, with your hands so you're getting all that yummy paint in all the different areas. And I like using, if I can find it, yes, my roller. I'm not sure what these are actually used for. If you know, tell me. Um, I think that you can use it's all manner of different kind of arts and pressing out things, I guess. Oop, that squeezed out. Maybe I won't need any more paint on anywhere because that squeezed the paint. Maybe I've done too much squeegeeing out. Stop. Radio. Right, e o. You get under there. Let's see how we go. Oh, might be a dirty, rotten thing. Or ah, no, no, no. It's kind of muddied up. That's disappointing. Look at these lovely colours here, and it went all muddy. Radio. What can I do with that? No. Let me think. Let me think. That's muddy. Um. Might go again. I might put some more paints on the actual surface of this and then I've got a piece of plastic that I'll put plastic over the top. It might go even muddier because I'm putting the colours on top but that was not, that's no good for me. I would just um, end up, uh, what you call it, scraping the paint off into the bin starting again so I might as well give it a try now if it still ends up yucky then you know then I've given it a go and I've tried so I'll just lay these colors back on again see how we go I like them at the top there but the rest are yucky they're just muddied up and this can be very well to do with, my paints are too thin, literally are too thin. You, you probably really need with the dips to keep your paints on the thicker side. Like I said, I was hoping to try and get something that looked like under oceany kind of effect. Yeah. Um. Oh, got an itchy nose, that meant a surprise. Go back to my turquoise because I love this colour so much. So if I just get mud again, if it goes muddy again, wow. You're just better off to scrape the paint into a piece of um, paper newspaper or something can bin it or scrape it together reuse it for a background in something else you can definitely do that try the white again putting some white in there Maybe I don't add the orange, maybe the orange may turn it a little bit. Um, so I've got my dark blue here. Ready, I'll try and add some more of the dark blue. I think I might have wrecked this, but I'll give it a go. Give it a go, see how we go. Now I had a big piece of plastic that I was, oh there you go. Okay. I did a previous, I did a previous dip on this it, with this plastic. Or maybe it's not. And that was the result, but I never peeled it off. So I'm wondering if it would work or maybe I'll get, I've got some plastic here, but they're smaller pieces than that one so I might try or should I try with another canvas maybe like that 
let's try with these these are just soft plastic file dividers so I'm gonna try and do a uh, like I said maybe I should have just used another canvas but I wanted to try something different so you just give it a go that's it giving that a go and then I'll use that roller on it again let's see what I get with this oh I don't need any paint on my roller thank you very much yeah it's slippy it's slippy I think I've got a, a disaster here but I'll still keep pushing on you never know my dog's looking at me thinking who the heck does she think she's talking to hey is that what you're looking at Rosie I need to put that in the wash. I might just press it out with my hands. Because you can just wash these folders again and reuse them, obviously. And I, uh, the other one that I showed you, I thought that the paint would um, dry into a skin and be able to peel off, like if you do it on silicone. But it doesn't. The paint's not actually thick enough on it. So it didn't do it. Radio. I'm gonna, 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 gonna lift it. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. You get paint everywhere. Rosie, you can sit there. You're gonna be covered in paint, Rosie. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. It's got a funny line there, but it does look a lot better. I think I can rescue this one. Give me a minute with me balloon. Looks better, I think, my way. But I could, where it's not, the paint is not covered or it looks a bit funny here. Kind of doing this is a, a roll. Creates these lovely effects on the canvas, almost like a shell. So I maybe could turn it into an underwater delight hmm that's not bad it's not the wonderful effect that I thought it may be but have a look and see what you think oops oh my goodness I've got paint everywhere I've got all my gear. Oh yes, Louise. It's not too bad. Not too good. Not too bad. Oh dear. I did try. I did kind of try. I will um I'll just show you this other one that I embellished or have started to embellish. And I'm going to continue working on it. I did a deep and the video is already on my channel in these blues and I left it to dry and then I'm embellishing some of the balloon rolls that you see um, and adding some uh, dragonfly glaze on them then I with a hot glue gun it started off a starfish but it ended up being a really weird sea flower so I'm still working on it but you know I might be able to rescue that one that way we can see <laughs> we will see so I'll uh, see how it dries it might be messy like I say you could definitely do some embellishments on it when it's dry and it might be very nice so we'll see how it dries uh, yeah some you win some you don't <laughs> But, you know, you get the gist. If you want to try this idea, just learn by my mistakes and um, maybe do your paint a bit thicker than I did. Obviously, the plastic bag wasn't a great idea. It did actually, as you see, like leave some different effects on the canvas feathery effect. So it might be um, brilliant to actually do some embellishments in there. Righty-o, I'm going to stop, stop waffling. And I will see you guys tomorrow. 
I hope you enjoyed my attempts, you know. I always like to show my failures along with the successes, as in life. Still push on. Bye for now. Consider it rescued. It actually looks so much nicer now. It's dried and I'm looking back on it. I shouldn't have been so harsh on it. Sometimes you just have to push on and see what you get. So that is definitely a lesson learned. Thank you again, guys.